was an early creator using motion graphics and technologies to create art. He began his career in computer animation in the 1970s and is considered part of the second generation of computer animation artists. Cuba is known for his embrace of the abstract. His work is generally characterized by cascading designs, startling shifts, and mathematical structures. He developed an interest in using computer graphics at the Art of California Institute of the Arts. Cuba used the mainframe computers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Labs to practice CG animation. It was there that he created his first film, First Fig. We tried to find a video of First Fig, Larry's first film, but I think you had to pay for that, and I wasn't down for that. Let's go to my friend Corey. He's going to tell you a bit more about Larry Keaton's work. In 1975, Cuba worked with John Whitney in Arabesque. Under Whitney, Cuba gained knowledge about the relationships between image and sound and worked alongside one of the fathers of computer animation. Cuba's first film, First Fig, was enough to impress the likes of George Lucas, who entrusted Cuba to create the only animation sequence in his 1977 movie, Star Wars. Cuba used GRASS, Graphic Symbiosis System, a programming language that creates vector graphic animations. These animations could be manipulated as the artist wanted them to appear. Cuba used a tablet program he had written to create freehand drawings, which were combined to create the effect of going through the Death Star trenches. Larry's own film, 378, and Two Space, has similar features to his Death Star sequence. Cuba eventually moved to using ZGRASS. The main difference that Cuba noted was the move from vector to raster-based imaging. ZGRASS was originally intended to be a driver chip for arcade machines and video game consoles. Cuba got his hands on ZGRASS on his personal computer and started working with the newly designed hardware. The move to pixel graphics allowed for Cuba to delineate areas of his work area with shading. Pixel imaging also allowed for him to now use color. This move allowed for Cuba to downsize his hardware, but the move required him to adjust from dots to vectors. Cuba's first and only film in ZGRASS was calculated movements. The movement is characterized by a system of a fixed internal repetition, unlike 378, which utilizes an array of varying alternations in movement and transformation speeds. Larry Cuba used GRASS and ZGRASS to help legitimize CG animation as an art form. Cuba's films evoked a visual representation of order and structure contrasted with variability and randomness. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed our film about Larry Cuba. Bye! How do you know Larry Cuba? I don't know Larry Cuba. Yeah, he was assigned to me in the project. I trust my friend Corey because he knows film. And he said, I recognize Larry Cuba. So I took his work. Turns out Larry Cuba, not much to go on. Did not like him, do not like him, will not like him.